Hi, this is a um, rather low quality video of Ryzen's new Razzle. It's made by PCD. It features a, um, a rotating keyboard. Um, it has buttons on the side, one for the camera and one for a quick launch type of thing and can be press, pressed and held to lock it. Um, on the other side it has volume control, a USB input, and the USB input is a non-standard. However, with Verizon, it comes with a transfer cable right in the box, as well as a 1 gigabyte micro SD card, which fits in down here. Um, it's a nice full QWERTY keyboard. It's a little small. Buttons are a little shrunk down. Um, there's a jog, kind of like a directional pad here. And it's interesting because the up and down buttons of the directional pad are slightly cut off, so it doesn't form a full circle and they're just kind of flat on top. Um, you have a dedicated speakerphone button here which I think is kind of a waste of a rather large button. On the other side you have um, voice commands as well as a standard clear button. You're in call, end call, and then the two soft keys just like normal. You also, the lower portion, um, if you push space it enters a quick text mode so which allows for um, writing text messages or saving things to the notepad so that's kind of handy um, a vibrate mode so that you can push and hold that and it's either vibrated or on um, a standard text messaging button is right to the right of the space button so I'm not exactly sure why they even had that there um, some things I don't like are the the notepad has a character limit somewhere around 80 characters way too short to actually make a full note um, to switch between like uppercase and lowercase letters in the texting mode there's no shift key there's a caps key which switches between the all caps writing mode first letter cap writing mode or no caps um, there's enter or return I guess um, delete and stuff like that and all all the buttons have sub functions of course which is marked by a green button here with the number pad and then various punctuation marks on the uh, the flip side, literally, you have a dedicated media center starting button. Play, back play, pause, backtrack, forward track. Um, one thing that is handy is that um, a it locks the keypad quite frequently, which I like for a non flip phone. If you enter a music play mode and um, just start playing something, there's a volume control right on the side and then you can go back to your standard menus. So it shows a little bar on top, that little black bar, is the music that's playing the track and how far into the track it is and the name of the track. And then this is my regular home screen and I can go into a calculator or do whatever else I want. Um, and I can even flip it and resume normal texting or whatnot. And I can still have my media in fairly easy access. So, um, on the top, it has a micro, uh, I think it's a 1.5 millimeter, or a 3.5 instead of a 4.5 millimeter um, jack. So, it cannot take a standard headphone. You need a special um, headset or an adapter if you want to listen to it with regular headphones, which I don't like. Fortunately enough, I do have one of those. Um, it has a low megapixel camera on it, which is rather unprotected but still. Um, and the keypad, when it's in the backwards position, doesn't actually do anything. It's it's locked. So that's nice. Whatever buttons are in the back are kind of locked. Whereas these buttons, you know, if it's not locked, they'll do things. And if it's locked, then it'll tell you um, to unlock it. Um, in regular PCD stand standard fashion, it has PCD battery, so good luck trying to get your hands on another one or trying to find a replacement without actually contacting PCD. Um, and swapping batteries if your battery goes dead, it's unique, I'm sure. So that's the Verizon Razzle um, made by PCD. Um, it's currently only available online. Uh, it had to be special ordered because I happened to find it and good things like that, but I have it now. Um, 
oh, another special note of interest. It features stereo speakers. You can just kind of notice the, the indentation for the speaker on this side and over here on this side. But upon closer inspection, I'm fairly certain that both speakers are on this side of the phone, um, which is interesting. But I guess they still can call it stereo. Um, the mic is located on the base of the phone here. So as it rotates, it still clearly picks it up. Um, so far, I've only had one call dropped uh, and a few calls being a little sketchy in one area north of Chicago. I don't think I normally had um, problems with that area, but it seemed to have good signal everywhere else so far, even um, up in northern Wisconsin and my grandmother's cabin for the weekend, where I normally have an okay signal, it still had signal there, so that's good. Um, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions or want me to do, like, have anything specific, comment and maybe I can post another video with the answer to your questions. Hope you enjoy this. Thanks. Bye.